from motorwork.com and today we're doing a review of the Instagram app for Android so finally guys it's here we are dying for it all that fun stuff so let's go ahead and check it out so once you get into Instagram app if you've used it on iOS similar um, um, landscape you do have to sign up into Instagram and you can follow people on your Facebook or Twitter and they also give you uh, follow suggestions the bottom row you have your options so even though you have a menu button here that doesn't do anything for you you have your home you have your popular, so popular uh, photos. You do have your pick a source. You can take a picture or photo gallery, which we'll do that in a second. You get you, have, you can check out you and who you're following also, so you can see all your friends. Your basically Instagram feed, and finally your grid. And right now I have one photo in here. I'm following seven, so that's pretty much it there. And then you can see your settings here, camera settings about. Um, edit info, all that fun stuff. So let's go through. You can see our feed here, and that is a photo, of course, of my iPhone 4. As for you guys, took one from uh, my camera log. You can see your friends' feeds. You can check out their photos. Uh, you can see what they've done with Instagram, and you can leave comments. You can like the photo. So let's go to Vanessa's photo here. Say, all right. So we love that photo and leave a comment yeah so pretty simple pretty easy uh very simple stuff you're familiar with you can check out popular photos so you can actually look at that so this is a waldo one here which is pretty nice and um of course we can fly for review you can do what you can like all that kind of stuff and we can also tap on the person's um grid and then also follow the individual very simple and then here we can take photo from gallery or we can say if we go to the photo gallery which we won't do we'll take a photo here you can see Instagram picture here you can see some iOS photos oh and look check that out that is the uh, it's a Nokia N Lumia, uh, Lumia 900 and accept and then in here we can actually select our you know different types of um, you know Instagram uses that we can do with this. We do rise, which is looks pretty cool. Sierra, and there's a whole boatload. So you know you can pick from whatever you want, and you can select there. Go Valencia, 1977. Kelvin, nah, don't like those. I like rise. So we can rotate the photos, of course, whichever way we want. You can add some more brightness to it. You can add a remove frame if it has a frame, and that's pretty much it. But I digress. So what we do, we're going to take a photo. We're actually not going to use that. So we're actually going to actually use, take the camera. So we're going to take a photo of something around. Actually, take a photo of some gadgets here. Very simple. Save. So that's a photo. See the iPhone 4S case. Some other stuff. So we're going to accept that. Now, should we do. Ah. And we can go ahead and select what we want. But you know what? We'll do a moral here. Some more brightness to it. That's our Instagram photo. Processing. And we're going to tweet this out. Have a logged off Facebook or Tumblr and the rest of them. Geotagging if you want to. Upload. And boom. It shows up on our feed right there. Simple. And that's it. And that's pretty much the Instagram app for you. Um, it's easy to use. Very simple. And I'm sure you will all love it. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and also uh, follow us at BoardFam. And also, uh, don't forget to enter to our AOC monitor contest. So this is Thundee saying thank you, and always enjoy entertainment.